Hi, this video is in response to a, a common misconception about the need for a counterbalance world. Just you can call it as a myth buster. And uh, I will go on to explain the actual functioning of the counterbalance wall also in this video. Please uh, see the video till the very end uh, to extract a maximum value out of this video. Having said that, before we proceed, definitely please uh, press the like button right now. Uh, because I know you are going to like it. And I need these likes uh, just to show off to my family members that look, there are a lot of guys over there who actually like what I say. Having said that, uh, uh, let's get going, dive into the subject. You are watching Chief Engineer's Tea Time Talk. I am Ramesh, the friendly pilot who will safely navigate you through this channel. Continue watching. You can see here that the anchor which is very heavy will be pulled down by gravity. Effectively, the piston is also pulled down. In a ship, we need to imagine that the weight of the anchor would want to rotate the rotor in the hydraulic motor. Now if the piston wants to go down, oil needs to escape from the bottom of the piston and go to the tank. Let us see if this is possible. Yeah, it is very much possible. So we can conclude that given the circuit, if the operating lever is in neutral condition, the oil from the bottom of the uh, cylinder has a free path and it uh, gets drained to the tank. That is the anchor will lower by its own weight. In fact, it will pick up speed and momentum and will run away, creating a big damage. You lose the anchor, in fact. If we want the anchor to hold position in neutral position of the lever, then the oil from the bottom of the cylinder should be blocked from draining. We need a hydraulic locking. This is exactly what we would do by inserting a component called a counterbalance valve. Some people also call it over center valve. Now you can see that the oil cannot drain to the tank because it is blocked by this spool over here. Unless this spool is lifted up, the oil cannot flow back to the tank. So now in this condition, the anchor is holding position. On the ship, you can recollect that if the brakes are released and the operating lever is in neutral uh, position, the anchor stays wherever it is. It just holds position. It does not fall down. Great. We have understood why the anchor does not drop down in neutral condition. Now, there are many who ask this question. Why should we have a complicated valve like this? Why not have a simple direction control valve with the closed center like this? The job is done anyway. Anchor will not lower in neutral position. Agreed. Agreed. For those who need some clarification or direction control valves, I suggest to see the earlier video uploaded on direction control valves in this channel. Now, let's see what happens when we want to lower the anchor. You can see that while lowering the anchor, Oil from the bottom of the piston is connected to the tank. It should be connected. The draining of the oil to the tank is now free flow. The anchor will simply run away while lowering. The oil draining to the tank uh, while lowering needs to be restricted to restrict the lowering speed of the anchor to a safe value. So a counterbalance valve is anyway needed. Contrary to the belief that a counterbalance valve simply provides a hydraulic lock, its real function is to stabilize the lowering speed of the anchor. This is normally uh, very few people uh, are aware of this and they are very happy with the first sentence that counterbalance valve is giving a hydraulic lock. Before we move on, let me remind you that uh, RMIT consultancy is now conducting hydraulic classes as a, at a basic level for interested participants. You can register by clicking the link at the end of this video or accessing the link in the description of this video. Or visit my website www.rmetc.co.in. You will get all the details in my website. Now let's move on. Let's see how we can lower the anchor. Now here we see that the oil is directed to the top of the cylinder. But oil below the piston is trapped. It is blocked by the spool here. So the pressure on top of the piston increases. Now this pressure acts as a pilot and the pressure is made to act on the bottom of this spool. You can see that the spool is lifted up and the path for the oil from the bottom of the piston is open to the tank. So the anchor is able to lower now. The point to be noted here is that since the return oil is registered by the spring in the counterbalance wall, here this spring, the oil does not flow freely. Hence the anchor will not just run away. 
you know lower very slowly safely smoothly the adjustment of the spring is done at the installation time and there are some calculations hence it should not be tampered with there are many instances where there is some problem with the anchor heaving up and people go and tighten some uh settings and uh, invariably they'll they'll uh, touch this counterbalance valve with disastrous consequences now let us see how to lift up the anchor you can see here now that we have a challenge in lifting the anchor since this spool is blocking the flow of oil to the bottom of the piston and we cannot also lift up the spool because the pilot line can cannot be pressurized you can see that the pilot line is actually connected to the tank there is no pressure so what do we do we have no choice but to make a special arrangement we need to give a separate path for the oil to go below the piston for lifting so here we are we have added a path in parallel to the counterbalance valve also but we have incorporated a check valve also the reason for the check valve is it is to force the oil through the counterbalance valve during lowering of the anchor so in short when you are heaving up the anchor the oil will flow through the check valve and while lowering the anchor the check valve will close and the oil will be forced through the counterbalance valve again the spring and then we have a very safe and successful lowering so people who feel that they should do this hydraulic courses they can quickly uh, go and register i hope you enjoyed the video thank the lot thanks for watching see you in the next video